This should be a sobering lesson for the automakers thinking of transitioning their entire model lines to EV. Alfa Romeo, Bentley, Fiat, Jaguar, Maserati, VW, Volvo. All of these iconic brands have drunk the net zero Kool-Aid and have signalled their virtues by announcing they'll go electric only within the next decade or so. Once the early adopters had jumped on the bandwagon and fleets had their fill, the market that's left is shrinking fast and commercial vehicles are even more of a challenge than private cars. One of the casualties is a British startup electric van maker, Arrival, which, after being valued at no less than $13 billion just two years ago, was kicked off the Nasdaq a week ago and is now bankrupt and in the hands of an administrator, having not even sold one single solitary vehicle. Perhaps we should say that Arrival has departed. Welcome back to MGuy, British engineer and lawyer turned Sydney YouTuber. Please be sure to like, share and subscribe, hit the notification bell, drop a comment down below and follow me on Twitter X. As Fortune reports, British EV maker once valued at $13 billion has gone into bankruptcy protection without making any sales after getting kicked out of Nasdaq. Running an electric vehicle company has never been harder than it is now. Increasing competition, dwindling sales, startups scrambling for cash, and price wars that risk setting the industry on fire, the challenges keep mounting and dragging companies into existential trouble. The latest EV company to fold is Arrival, a UK headquartered startup that's close to a decade old. The company announced that its British arm was entering administration, similar to bankruptcy protection in the US. On Monday, just a week after it received notice from NASDAQ, the US's tech-heavy index, that its trading would be suspended. Arrival failed to file its 2022 annual accounts and to meet NASDAQ's continued listing standards, resulting in its removal from the stock exchange, the company said in a press release. And it's not the only such company to fail recently. Through all the tumult, Arrival still represented the UK's dream to be a hub for EV makers. But it hasn't been alone in failing to bring that vision to fruition. In January 2023, British startup British Vault entered administration owing to insufficient funds. British Vault provided a significant opportunity to create jobs and employment, as well as to support the development of technology and infrastructure needed to help with the UK's energy transition. Dan Hurd, one of the administrators at EY Parthenon appointed on the battery maker's case, told Fast Markets, adding, It is disappointing that the company has been unable to fulfil its ambitions and secure the equity funding needed to continue. A number of other EV startups have also gone bust in recent times, including Swedish truck maker Volta, which has operations in the UK, which was unable to raise capital following the bankruptcy of its battery supplier, Proterra. Proterra is another disaster, of course, with loads of cities across the world stuck with Proterra's hopeless electric buses that A, don't work, and B, for which no spares are available. Brilliant. But those historic automakers I mentioned at the start should take note of Arrival's fate, and maybe think twice before jumping headfirst off the cliff into the electrification abyss.